Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Cocainum Rob, joined by my sweet, sweet friend, Pharisees. How are you tonight, Pharisees? I... I currently exist and am metabolizing oxygen. Uh-oh. How are you tonight, Pharisees? I... I currently exist I find this highly advice... Oh, whoa, I have what an are echo. We... Now I don't. Okay. That's fixed. Yep. I would say, I think you broke it. No, I was listening to uh, Nino Cookie earlier, and I forgot to turn off the volume. My my bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa it's, fi it's fixed whoa. now. I'm sorry, Kathy. I'm sorry, Lanius. I'm sorry. Anybody else who's here who, uh, who now has had their ears pooped on, um, surprise, it's fixed now. Yeah, I was listening to the stream earlier because, you know, I don't just show up sometimes. Anyway, we're going to play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, we're going to keep you doing the swamp thing. Uh, <laughs> just as you go to bed, I'm sorry, bully. I love you too. Yeah, you've all escaped the ear breaking. Uh, again, sorry. But yeah, and I'm joined, like I said earlier, before ears started to break, uh, I'm joined by Pharisees. Posture Hi. check. I'll sit up, bully. Thank you. I'll sit up. And we're just going to hang out. We're going to chill. We're going to... I'm going to keep you some company tonight. Ferris is going to keep me some company, at least for a little bit. And we'll just have a good time. Yeah. It's going to be great. We're uh, we're back in Tatalia, Swampland. Land, land of Swamp. We're going to kill some gnolls. Uh, we're beating up human people today, Cake Boss, tonight. How goeth the uh I goest alive. I'm here. I'm ex I'm i I'm technically extant. Um You know, what more can I ask for, am I right? Uh Pharisees, you're doing good. How what's the best thing that's happened to you today? Um... Please don't make it loot. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know you. Don't even. Um, I mean... I had a, a, a busy day at work of roughing in a wall for electrical uh, conduit and box install, and it was elbows deep in fiberglass to do it because the walls were insulated and all that. Uh, the best thing that happened to me today was I got to come home and let my dogs out and take as long a shower as I wanted without it ever being an inconvenience to anybody else at all and it was great <laughs> you know what these are amazing yet simple pleasures and I understand dude like I should probably fight this. at times people just don't get it when, when I'm like I can just take a shower at my pace and just you know they don't understand breathe. how actually wondrous and useful that is like, that is a huge zen thing, man. That is absolutely a zen space. Where you can actually sit there and tune out the world for a little bit. That's great. Dude. I feel you. I feel you in this so much. But I'm also a person who also loves just a long, relaxing, peaceful shower. Yeah, fr fries. Hey, fries. Fries is over here. Fries with the BPL is just like, man, nothing better than that four-hour shower, baby. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> you dude, you can't beat that, man. Sometimes that is... Isn't it just, is is it just exactly a bath at that point? Like, m might you as well just call it a bath if it's gone That's, to that I think extent? E economically, it would be better if it was a bath at that point. <laughs> So much running water. Ugh. Yeah, like there, there are people that are like, oh yeah, you know, I don't have clean water, and I'm like, yeah, no, I just fucking yeah, I, I'm waste sorry, the shit I can't, out of that. I can't hear you over my Great Lakes. <laughs> yeah, they're they're so big that they're, I mean, they're Great Lakes. They're, they're great. great. They're fucking great. I'm not from the land of lakes, but uh, you know, right next door, like, baby. You know, what do I? Min know? They say they say Minnesota is the land of, of ten thousand lakes, and I have, you know, it is actually very amusing that Wisconsin actually has more lakes than them. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just if it you, just goes you, to show you, you in in Minnesota, you don't know how to count. That's all. It's well, no big deal. That, why do you think they're all missing teeth? <laughs> if you did, if you couldn't tell, we're, we are two Midwesterners, not from uh, the land of lakes, Minnesota. So we're going to be relentless. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Dude, if if Troop heard us talking shit about Minnesota, he'd join in. So, like, <laughs> and he, he's fucking the Minnesotan. We like Troop. Shrimp, shrimp goob, shrimp goob in all forms. No, not not shrimp, Troop. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. I got confused who we were talking about for a moment. Yeah. No, sh shrimp, shrimp is goob as well, but he is not troop. Fair, fair and accurate. In fact. Fair is my name. Yes. Fair. It's, God damn it. <laughs> Help! I've fallen and I can't get up into the pit of your words. <laughs> uh, we're just we're about to like embark on our conquest of the. Ernemy, the human enemies. Yeah, yeah. Get the, get those get those hyena people, man. They're they're useful. The gnolls are actually they're, really fun. They're dude, really they, they're they really fun ass. units. I have been watching you like absolutely use them to put in work. These got well, they will. They're one of the better tier ones, especially with that defense skill. Like holy balls, it's good. Slap. Are you playing a beast race? I am playing a beast race. I'm playing the uh, Swamp Folk of uh, Tatalia, led by King Trolsk. Uh, and it's a fun one. I, I really, this is one of my favorite campaigns in the game, like flat out. Um, imagine, imagine being that guy where you're like, oh yeah, I'm a surf and I'm, you know. This I'm guy? <laughs> well, no, the the guy that you were fight, one of the guys you were fighting there, where you're like, yes, I'm a squire to a knight, and I'm, if I prove myself someday, I'll maybe get to be a knight myself, and he just gets clapped by a dragonfly. Oh, the like, uh, those are the marksmen, the ra they're they're rangers, basically. Oh, the rangers. Okay. Yeah, no, we oh. clapped the shit out of those cheeks. It just get. To giant man-sized dragonflies, yes. Yeah, just get get clapped by a dragonfly. Like how, you know, man. How embarrassing! Oh, Bring we're about this honor on the family. The clapping is about to continue. This guy doesn't even have shooting units. Like for shame. Allow oh, me to no. allow me to raid your stables and then destroy your fucking everything. First, I will destroy your stables. Bullshit, horseshit, <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> oh man, ducks! I am sorry. I uh, I don't feel you in regard to what exactly you're going through with it being job work. But I feel you on the bad train, baby. Because uh, choo choo, I'm aboard. I ow, stop it. He you're not conducting, however. You are on the struggle bus. I'm just riding it. Just. He daily. took a front row seat on the on the struggle bus. Yep. So. I uh, I in fact am not aware of any other available buses in my area. Advanced archery, amazing. I'm not even gonna bother resplitting those. That would be annoying at this point. Man, he's got a lot of like look around troops and not a lot of I'm here to stop you troops and I'm fine with that because I'm just over here building a second army of people who just want to work for me for free and that's great excuse me hiccups literally this character Rosic just getting buku people Scouts, not border patrols? Exactly. Uh, Rosic over here. When Rosic was a child, she contracted a fever that none of the elders in her village expected her to survive. But survive she didn't today. She claims that it was the fever that gave her magical powers. They all have these nice little, like, things. 
This guy's my favorite, though, just because he looks crazy. Six-month border war against the Barbarians. Was able to make a standoff, holding off for eight days a unit of five times their size. So he gets, like, his specialty is ridiculous. 5% per level bonus to his armorer. He's, his, his name is Taser. That's how he tames And his name beast. is Taser Face, yes. Yeah, that's how he tames the beasts. He actually just has a taser, and he's just yeah, like, You it, it, obey me now! And they're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> The best part of him is that this 15%, like this says, for every right now it's at 25% reduced damage. It's just stupid. Like, he, he is one of the best heroes you can get. End statement. Oh, this is the place where all the lizard folk live, huh? Well, we'll just, uh, we'll get Rosic all super nicely upgraded and then bring her on over. Oh, oh and I, didn't, I didn't read Stig this time around. I read these in the last time I streamed it, but they're still fun. Literally, 11th daughter of the king. Like, it's just like, huh, maybe I should do magic or something instead of, like, banking on this whole being royalty thing panning out. Because I am pretty far down this list. <laughs> We're gonna send them back here to get upgrades. Because we have the upgrades here. Uh, we're trying to buff economy right now. So we made a hard run at getting both these castles into their first three zones. So. Yeah, Stig did the smart good. Alright, we're just gonna go like wipe this out so that there's not an enemy fortification behind us. Yes, closer. And stick him right there. Just in case he gets a morale boost, which, you know, hopefully he doesn't, but... The one thing about the dragonflies that makes me a little sad, they can be countered. Oh, that weakness spell they cast. 100% of the time they get that weakness spell, and that's, that's always a good get. Eee, and now we got haste and some magic. Make haste. Not waste. Translation, run fast, don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> A poor translation, but the one we will use. I really need to get this guy over the border, too. I'm just going to let him sit here for a day. Uh, hey, hey, man, it's the only transliteration I had to work with. <laughs> this is all I got right now. It's going to have to work. <laughs> Apparently, they said... That the part of their society's philosophy is that it was better to run quickly than poop. <laughs> yeah, run quickly and pooping is not necessary. Anyway, this army is also just like fucking stupid big now too. And for turn economy, we'll split the lizards in half because that's what you do. Don't split the lizards in half; they take forever to regrow when you do that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, you, stop it. Stop doing things down there. Yes, I would like to recruit the Pikmin. The Pikmin! So I can put them there. I'll just take money from their water wheel, go into their desert, you know, look around a little bit. I really could probably fight these. Hydrate! Hail Hydrate! You can be slow. <sighs> Drink water, they say. Yeah, do it. There you go. I did. Well done. Muchly proud. No, you're not. I am. I am a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're like, oh, well, if you say so. I mean, I don't actually believe it. However, I'm just going to run with it like yeah, I just, do. Yeah, just go with it. Just go with it. Please, please stop. Yes. Slap. Just gonna run down here. Everybody just kinda run away for a moment. Fuck! Alright, looks like we're doing this the hard way.
Yeah, they get they get hurt. They get hurt real bad. So these are actually a high tier unit. These are like a tier five unit. These Minotaurs, or what are they? These are the Gorgons, I think. Um, they're tough, which is why we took some losses. But acceptable losses for now. What is going to be treasure access? Especially because we're just going to keep running a unit through their fucking land. Like, real good and hard. While this one just continues to nab everything we have. So they actually have a castle down there, which is not ideal, but also is something we can deal with. I'm intentionally skipping those witches hunts, huts. Especially yeah, because we, the, we don't want to fuck with that right now. Well, they give you skills, but they give you random skills, and some skills are, like, detrimental to your progress. It's like a cursed item. Uh, kind of, yeah. Because you can't build an ideal character. Uh. So this one's also flag all mines, so even when we break the enemy in half, uh, we don't actually win at that point, which is kind of a good thing, because then we can take our time to just, like, we can wipe the enemy and then really take our time to just make, like, a top-tier heroes that then follow us into the next missions. So. Oh, more, more friends. More either friends or food, their choice. Yeah, Noel, uh, it's a fantasy thing. Like, Noel's exist in several fantasy iconographies and, like, things, I guess. Yeah. Like, like it Gnolls is... Those are hyena people. It's kind of like a... Yeah, it's kind of like a kobold, except uh, hyena people instead of, like, weird lizard things. Yeah, and they're actually smart and have a society and a culture, and they're actually... I would actually put them as less kobolds and more of, like... Fuzzy hyena orc people. Yeah, that's not a bad description, to be fair. Because, because I mean, in a lot of D and D settings, they're actually playable. Yeah, they like, are. Enemies. They are D and D. Uh, not even adjacent. They're just like from like they have been in D and D many times over, I believe. Uh, yeah, since 1.0. Since since. Since the olden times in 1972, when Gary Gygax and his friends got together in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and put I don't, pen to paper. I don't know that they're really in the in five. I, like, I know they're in it, but I don't know they're like well featured. If that makes sense, does that? Oh, we can describe, get these guys now. Describe something in five E that's well featured. Uh, my butt. I don't know. Okay. The, the easy answer was everything that was in four that was kept was your, your was your gimme there and you didn't use it. Well, I ignored four like most people should have. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> You're like, like well, what? checkmate, uh, sir. <laughs> like, like Watsy didn't. Yeah. And they should have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Some things remain unforgiven. <laughs> yeah, f fucking for real. <laughs> Look, I didn't, I think four sucks. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there. A lot there. of people think four is great, and a lot of these people are the same people that play a lot of Warhammer 40k or other miniatures war games. And I, I as I, I say this as a person who does play miniatures war games, however, that's not what I wanted from D and D. <laughs> yeah, I don't they think it was very good. Very, they made it very accessible, and accessibility is fine. But you know what else was accessible? 3.5. I think free 3.5 was a little tough. Um, it was... Wordy, it was, it was but in the end, it was chunky. It was wordy and very crunchy, but at the same time, with a good DM, it made it great, <laughs> man. The lizard ones throw it. 3. Point, yeah, it, there was a lot you could do with it. Like, that's for it fucking It was sure. very extensible, yeah. It was it was an enormous system like just it was how many it, splat books were there for three five uh infinite it was the reason it, it it was the reason I hate Pathfinder and I know that's gonna be like weird or sound weird but listen 
I can't take the level of customization in Pathfinder. It just does not work for me. Like, it's well, just too I mean, much. I think when they finally moved on to 4.0, I think they had Monster Manual 6 out for 3.5? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> like, there was so much. But yeah, oh. it, it and it and it started to get it, yeah notorious Ben exactly. It kind of started to get so crunchy that it had like scope creep into the rules where you were able to just do insane things and power game the shit out. That's what I'm talking about in it. Yeah. Like it was just it was a little much at that point, in my opinion. Um. I just thought there was like it. The creep was so real. Yeah, it was. It, but my experience with three five was even late in its cycle. Uh, I had a ton of fun with it because, as extensible it was, it was a good DM can say, "Yeah, no, I can tell what you're doing. No." <laughs> yeah, stop it. Like yeah, the. I, 3.5 got or so even bonkers. better, find creative ways to, to like, stymie you power gaming. Yeah, because you could power game really hard with it. And that was, like, that's what gets me about it, is there's just so much that I can't keep track of it all. Uh, that being said, I... I could put up with 3.5, it was Pat, it's Pathfinder that loses me. Um, and then all that being said, stop it. No, he can reach me. Fuck. Okay, well, this guy's going to have to go back to the shop. I'm just send him back here to stop getting wailed on. Um. Oh, no. Well, it was like the fucking Monk of the Seven Veils is the one that a buddy of mine, uh... I always remember him talking about it because you can just make yourself like immune to any damage like with an action. It was just like, oh, I just decide to not get hurt by this anymore. Veil of whiteness, and then you know it, it was like, oh yeah, you just can't can't be hurt by ice anymore. Ah, that is a that is a good win right there. We can get basic resistance and become more... Oh, God, this hero is just about to be fucking bonkers. Archery, Pathfinding, Armor, Wisdom, and Resistance is a good fucking spread. If we get some air magic in there... Woof! Woo-wee! About to be off to the races. Woo-wee, Rob! Woo-wee! <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fair sees me sinks over here. Can do. So many feats, Ben, for real. So many feats that people were like, where are the feats in 5? When it had feats. It just didn't have enough feats. Uh, yeah, I, I take this feat that... Uh, enables me to take seven other feet. There were feats that enabled you to take other feats just immediately. It was the feetening, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand. It's like, bro, you want some feats with them feats? So somebody, you are giving somebody, like, the worst, like, panic attack in this chat right now. Why? That word, too much. Feats? Yeah. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> oh. I mean, there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I apologize for any feet induced panic attacks or use of the word feats to induce panic. Oh, yeah, skills and traits. How could we forget? This is one more thing for the meat grinder over here. <laughs> Skills and traits, otherwise known as not feats. <laughs> yeah, the other the other shit. No, it's totally not the same. It definitely does not function in such a way as to make this incredibly powerful. Abdul's defense training. All are welcome. <laughs> I love some of the signs in this. They're like very self-aware and silly. 
Oh no, halberders, whatever will I do? I guess shoot them before they get even close to me. Okay, never mind. They've gotten a little too close. Still shot them, but now slappy time. Oh, well. This doesn't work like Heroes 2, where you get your magic back uh, by waiting in a town, unfortunately. Um, oh, I, uh, I, I left that on. Oopsie doodle. Is that a halberd or is that a pike? That's a pike. The other guy had a halberd, but he's dead now, Jim. I guess you could say he's been pulled disarmed. You are lucky I love you so much. I really don't know if I am. <laughs> oh, you will. You'll 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 know. You'll find out. We're gonna keep buying lizards and flies and gnolls, oh my. Just to have the most stupidest large, like, tier one to three army that we can possibly have like the first seven seconds of the game continue sub two days remaining oh yeah that's right i do have to resub to the wbpl with my prime soon. do it Other i have a feet too. fetish thank you lucky oh my god that's funny <laughs> do you have amazon prime prime the wbpl i do i do and that is what i do with with the prime that i have Touch the cow, do it now. <laughs> Touch the cow, do it now? Yeah. Alrighty then. Who am I to argue with cow touching? Oh, basic sorcery, yes, that makes the spell stronger. Oh, it's so good. We're craving for thin mints? Uh, you mean constantly? Yes. Like, why is that a weird craving? I'm yeah, that's not a weird craving. Like, like, having a craving for Thin Mints is pretty standard for most people that know what they taste like. Yeah. <laughs> have you had a Thin Mint before? Congratulations, you have a new craving. Forever. This is going to sit in your reference of tastes and fuck with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. You will find nothing <laughs> that replaces it, nor that comes close to even replicating it. But you Dude, will love it. The store, like the store brand ones that like Meyer and other grocery stores in the in the Midwest have, yeah. are close, but they don't. Oh, you mean like them. thin thin lints, like the rip off it, it, ones? It's it, it, it's it's choco mints. <laughs> thin thin diddles, the thing that's not quite the thing you're looking for. Legally distinct. Le Thints. <laughs> Similar but legally distinct from the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> yeah. Mint is gross. Sassy, I love you a little less today. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Hail I'll Hydrate. Be... Cake Boss says Hail Hydrate. <sighs> yeah, drink with your mouth. Well done. Proud of you. Thank you for mouth drinking. I'll teach you a mouth drink. You are you are in Robotown. Is that me? Is that just me? Is that you? Uh, no, that's me. That is all me. You take a one-way trip to Robotown on accident, right there? Uh, no, that was. I think Spectrum is actually doing line maintenance in my area. They've been out here what, out now? a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do it. They will do. They do it whenever they want. They're like, now is the time. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, if anybody here, is like, if you are, or your dad, or your uncle is a cable guy, I'm sorry, but cable guys that do line maintenance, not the ones that come to your house, the ones that do line maintenance are just assholes, because they will absolutely go, you know what, this one needs to be serviced, it's Super Bowl Sunday, just take out a neighborhood <laughs> block, like. <laughs> take out the whole block on Super Bowl I, Sunday. I'm not kidding, they do that shit. Like, and because it's within the scope of their job, they can just do that. Oh, dude, eat one potato chip. Somebody, somebody talking about. Oh shit, I was not paying attention. Uh, good thing you didn't put anybody in here. You, you, <laughs> these fucking idiots. Uh. All right, I guess I'll just like. 
take some of these guys too. Just be like, all right, come and get it. Till uh, fucking Rosic makes their way down there. It's like, hey, stop it. Stop, stop Pap. hitting my peoples. Pap. Pap what? No, Pap. Oh, Pap. hey, stop that, Pap. <laughs> Pap, yeah. <laughs> Night Owl, thank you for resubbing. This is one of the better ones. Don't worry, I've made many mistakes too in my life, and they're all coming back to haunt me one at a time. Hi, I'm a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, you fucking slut. <laughs> Wow. Strong language. Harsh language, I know, but you deserve it. It's okay. <laughs> Opponent, I want rifles slung. <laughs> what the hell are we supposed to use? Harsh language? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to... Dude, we need to reference the movie when we go play Fireteam Elite again. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Alright, guys, this next section, chat says pistols only. Man, what... <laughs> Rifles slung. <laughs> Pistols only, rifles slung. But, but, but. but. <laughs> At but. this point, basically, between the pistols and harsh language, that is as good as you're going to get. Pretty much. God, I do love that game. If you, do not sleep on Aliens Fireteam Elite, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, please. If you, if you had a bad taste in your mouth from the Gearbox, uh, you know, Colonial Marines game back... Not that long for, ago. Uh, no, that was me, forever like, ago. Still... That was like ten years ago. Yeah, I know, but it, dude, it's been like the only thing from that franchise other than Isolation. I guess that's true. It feels like the only thing from it. That's for sure. Like that's been the only thing from that franchise besides Isolation in a good long while. You're, you're right, and it just it just it feels like you're not supposed to be correct. Is that is that weird? No, it's it's not weird. I understand it's just like, what ah, you're saying, but it's but yeah, you like well, it's so good, and so yeah, no, it's it is Fire Team Elite is so is is actually such a surprisingly competent shooter. Head and shoulders above kind of, most like two kind of player shooters I have played. Released it. Yeah, like there was not a there's not a lot of hype about this. It just there, came out. There was out. no big was like, advertising campaign. It was. I think it, I heard it about it a month popped. before it happened. Yeah, it just kind of came out, and they're putting a new DC DLC out in the end of August, and it's good. It is. It follows the canon. Yeah, the lucky you are correct. New DLC on August thirtieth for that and. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't get I don't get paid to shill this or anything. We don't we don't have some sort of weird thing going on here. We just fucking love that game. Yeah, no, we are not getting paid to say this. But I tell you what, if you saw how much fun we had playing it on stream, you understand. And if you, you saw how much fun we had playing it on stream, we had probably at points we had more fun playing it, like in some of the other serendipitous off-stream moments that happened. Not, like, not intentionally, like, oh, it's not as fun on stream. Just, like, with more time came more amazing, crazy, dumb bullshit. <laughs> it, it just, yeah. And then, oh, God, dude, the challenge card where you can knock each other over and we just would go Oh, my God, Splatter tackles. hates that one. He hates that so he much. He hates it You hate so... the retro cam. Well, the retro cam makes me, like, actually ill, so I have a good reason on that one. The noir cam makes it hard to like see anything because it black and white. See everything. A hashtag everything. Ah, uh, still yeah. though, that game. But, uh, Mwah. Oh, Chef's Mwah. kiss. Good fucking game, dude. I love that game so much. It is. It it takes good features of you know other co-op shooters, Left 4 Dead, mm -hmm. Payday. And it, it takes all of... It takes everything's gems. And it sticks a whole lot of them together. In, in what is admittedly the only bad part, like a, a slightly too bite-sized campaign, but one yeah, that is it, it infinitely is a, replayable for all the unlocks yeah. that you get. The campaign is... is Brilliant oh, as well. It is short, but competent. And I and they, that's why beyond competent, it has like some more. tension, and not even not only tension, but like 
the lore drops in it and like the continuation oh. of the lore in it. Ah, uh, here I am playing my favorite. I'm playing my favorite game possibly of my entire childhood and all time while I'm ranting and raving about a completely separate shooting game. <laughs> Dude, see the thing that screws that like had me the most impressed by it is that Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 were very competent co-op shooter games. They, I mean, they really did set the standard. Yeah. It took everything that they did with that right, and they kept that going, and then they managed to actually get the, the, the cinematic feeling of Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 that they were going for with it. It actually give you true cinematic reveals that just, oh, are accident, absolutely, like, competently performed in such a way I'm like, they had to have somebody that was sitting here, like, going, no, we need, this is where the big reveal happens, right here. My thing was that the game, to, to me, it, it's interesting and not surprising canon, right? Like, it's like you, you can see the writing on the wall for what, like, oh, Waylon yutani is Waylon yutani again, you know? Like, look at these mm -hmm. fucking shitheads. But at the same time, it's impactful. Oh yeah, it's Summer Sale, Lucky Omen. Lucky Omen's out here just like, I got you guys. I got you guys in this one. Yeah, Zin, you are in... God. Hi, Zin. Uh, you are also correct. That franchise has been suffering and struggling since... I think the thing before Colonial Marines that one could argue was, like, quite solid and well-received would be the, um, uh, uh, Alien vs. Predator 2. That was the one on the PS3, Was that right? PS... No, PS2, I think. Because I think that's what Zin was referencing. It was the one by Rebellion. Uh, mayhaps, yes. I would not... I would not know upon the top of mine head. Um, yeah, no, it was, it, was. it was the one by Rebellion. I know that because... Uh, because Jason Kingsley. <laughs> What's... Uh, who? Huh? Please elaborate. Uh, Jason... Jason Kingsley is like the like the CEO of Rebellion, and he's also like a really cool dude um, who oh. uh, also does uh, history stuff on YouTube. He does modern history of the night, and does like what did peasants actually eat back in the day, and like actually like has a historian there and eats it with them, and they cook it, and it's like good, cool info. Huh? And I, and uh, like being being a, a historian, Ren Fair nerd, like I am. This is it's like cool stuff. Oh, and, it, gets, it gets your Ren Fair boner going. Got it. Oh, dude, not it, it. Yes, but also like I actually like history, and he, it, they actually he actually does. Um, I guess it would constitute experimental archaeology, where he's like, let's figure, let's try and experimentally figure out how they used to do this back in the day, because we actually don't have good documentation on it, but we do have the end results. Let's find out how to how it was done. Oh, where they, like, recreate, like, the methods for doing X, Y, or Z? Dude, yeah, he built a wooden handcart. <laughs> and? Like, out of what? And, and, and used it out of wood scraps, like a peasant would have. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, like I, I know there's more to this than what you're saying. There must be. And, like, and did, like, the actual, uh, oh, God, what is it called? Um, when you weave willow branches... Basket weaving? It, no, it's because it, it's it's <sighs> like it's more than basket weaving. Uh, I'm facetious, but I also understand. <laughs> oh God, uh, it's gonna kill you until you remember it. I just know it yeah, is. Yeah, it's killing me. It has crawled inside you. Waddle. Waddling. Do I think Waylon Yutani has soy burgers like Shadowrun? I don't know. They might... I don't know if they're that evil. Waddling. It's where you where you get... You wet 
willow branches and you weave them through framework to make a hard lattice. And so it was for like wattle and daub and you use that for construction. I did not know that. Yeah, no, dude, it, it was, it's, dude, that is a really, that is an ancient method of making walls that's like weatherproof and waterproof and it is still used today. Huh. Like, because it's just that good. Learn something new. Our day. Like, that came straight out of the Neolithic era. <laughs> yeah, I knew, like, that, that those, like, I didn't know what it was called. I, I did, I was aware, I should say, of those, like, methods of weaving and making shit. Um, but again, was not aware of their name. Mm -hmm. But, uh, also, find it fascinating. The weird shit that, like, Excuse me. Humanity used to be able to figure out. Like, we we used to be so much smarter. <laughs> I, I wouldn't argue that uh, at all. In fact, I would agree. We used to be smarter. I don't, I don't like to we're, think about it, okay? Dude, we're, we are still recovering from tetraethyl lead. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I've been drinking too much flip, flip water. <laughs> I wasn't even, like, specifically referencing you being in Michigan. However... I just thought it would be a fun humanity interlude. At, yeah. Humanity in general is actually still... We are still recovering from tetraethyl lead. Look, don't worry about it, baby. Just don't worry about it. I can't help but worry about it. I, that is a, a statistically uh, notable decline in IQs from when tetraethyl lead was in use. Lies. I'm, Lies. Don't worry about it. Just because you don't want to acknowledge it doesn't mean that it didn't affect you and make you slightly dumber. Look, that is not the only thing that I have put into my body that has made me dumber. Yeah, I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> oh, Rob, I, I hope you appreciate my, my discipline at the moment. I do. Cause I do because I, I I know I know where I know where you were just now. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I know where you went, and I appreciate you so much, so very very much. I was tempted. The temptation was very real. I know you are you are you are a wonderfully tempted boy. Yes. The most yeah. tempted. Oh um. Yes. By the way, when you do come visit, uh, don't go in the basement. <laughs> Got it. it. It's not even like anything creepy or scary. Down you don't there. have it's to tell me twice. Before before we owned it, uh, there was some water damage there, and so it's like it's just like half disassembled. Still. Down there. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't had time to dedicate to actually finishing the demo. You're just they like, just we're just gonna keep the... this like this. <laughs> Yeah, they just they tore out everything that was water damaged and just left it like that. Like there's literally like <laughs> deal, drywall deal walls with that this. are just saw cut halfway up. <laughs> They're just like deal with this, not my problem. Pretty much. That's so ridiculous. it's it's just it's pretty it's pretty wacky down there. You just go, oh, there's just like the top half of a wall here, and I'm like, yeah, that's. <laughs> there's some wall, not all wall, but some wall. We call we call this conversation privacy wall, not you know, not modesty wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far as I can tell, there also was a bathroom. Was there, once upon a In time a bathroom was yeah. here? Maybe that's where the water came from. No, it's not actually. I can I can. You can see where the water came from. Oh, okay. I, I can. Yeah, like it's it's like. You're like I can I can point to that one. <laughs> yeah. There's also a, a, a chimney. Uh, there's a like an actual like brick wall area and a, a chimney clean out and uh, duct out to the chimney, but there is no fireplace. So I'm going to be adding okay. a, a wood burner eventually back down there because you know it'd be nice to actually have one. You're like, it would be good to be be, be able to burn the wood, actually. Yes, yes. It, it, well, I mean, dude, 
not having to run my furnace, please. <laughs> like, uh, fair, incredibly fair point. Especially in Wisconsin, where the winters uh, do the cold thing at times. And they do big yeah. cold, yes. I don't know what it's gonna be like. Never mind. This place, th th this current place, will uh, remain warm. And Red's vanquished. All right. So, what happens now? in this place this place where i am playing this game this this region of the country um we basically do what we want at our own pace to beat the level which consists of have all heroes essentially flag all these like really nice well we have to flag all the resources but also to have them all visit these like really nice locations that give them plus ones to their skills. Cause what does the scenario say? Uh nah, 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 nah. Uh your eight strongest heroes will be available to you in the final scenario of the campaign. Uh you wanna have most, if not all of them, because it's telling you eight, because it's telling it's secretly trying to tell you Yo, we really, really want you to start with eight. <laughs> like, that's its, like, little wink-wink nod. Oof. Didn't want him to have that one, but... Oh, well. That could come in handy, that, that skill, but it's, uh, it's somewhat unlikely that it will. We shall see. The nice part is, like I said, I can just I can just dump units off. I can I can kind of do whatever I want with this mission now. It, it's gone from being like a rush to being just this very low intensity hangout kind of mission where you're just like yeah, you just walk around the map and do stuff. Not a big deal anymore. Um, the other nice part about that, for me at least, is uh, I don't have to think too hard <laughs> uh, to beat this one now. And, like I said, you can just really leisurely just take out kind of all the remaining enemies. Yeah, it's tourism the game at this point, if, if that's what you were referencing. Because um, you just kind of get in there like swimwear and, and screw all these guys up in these front of these little mines. God, I hate that statement so much. In there like swimwear? Yeah, just simply because... Yeah, <laughs> go on, go on. I, I, it, 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 I'm, I'm curious. Please, go on. Just, Unless it's weird, then maybe not. Look, oh, God, basic I'll, I'll, I, I just, great. I picture, I pictured you in a speedo and just. Nobody should be picturing that. Yeah, I know. I didn't ask for it. My brain did it for me. There's too much robbed for anyone to be picturing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what your brain has done to you. <laughs> I, I don't this, even have another this, comment. I'm just like, ouch. This is a Robbie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Point, points, gun. This is a Robbie. <laughs> hey, points rob at, at, a, at a cash register. This is a Robbie. This oh, my a... God. What do you want us to do? <laughs> Empty the register. Duh. It's to tuck it into the Speedo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 I don't even like me that much, Jesus. How dare you? How dare you say such things? Alright, I'm just like looking through the castles and stuff now, and I'm like, what can I realistically build that's useful? Uh, not a lot, currently. We'll upgrade that. We're not even going to go beyond that for, uh... We're not even going to go beyond that for creatures, because we, we don't need to. Um... We have an un we have essentially unlimited money. The curse spreads. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is how the curse spreads. Now everybody's thinking about it. Well, welcome to my speedo party. Population Pharisees and all of you. Now 
normally these human troops, one of their big things is that they get bonuses to uh, morale a lot of the time. We're just kind of hoping that that doesn't happen right now. Cool, they're slow. So it doesn't matter. Expert armor, yes please. We're gonna take the experience now because we don't need the money anymore. Like I said, we're just, we are literally just gonna float through the money. Uh, Cause anytime we need money now, we don't, we don't have an enemy economy to worry about that we're fighting or battling against. We can just freely wait. Um, we can afford to waste turns because I'm not sitting here trying to like get the max high score. Which can part you of stop that? Making it political, Rob, with your talking about enemy economies. God. God, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Next thing you're gonna just do it, start to say China. <laughs> Nobody tell Diggs we're doing this. We're satiring things. We're not actually being political. That's why it's okay. I, uh, yes. I mean none of this. None of this is real. Um, but for actual so you have, real you have, to, you have to cripple your enemy economy. You do. In this game. Nowhere else. <laughs> Um, but yeah, when you have maps like this with these, these particular, uh, sets of, like, goals, or like, this is like the, oh, this is what you have to do on this level, um, it is really nice to just kind of clear out the enemy and then be able to do whatever you need to do. Um... Just like it's also nice to simply cure this unit and have those guys just take the shot again and then kill those. Um, because when you can spend spell points to not lose a, a unit, you do it. We'll just leave Stig there for a little bit longer yet. Like I said, we don't really need to. We don't need to move around. We don't really need to do anything on a short-term notice. Get that. Hi, right Cookie Mama. Me. Cookie. For legal reasons, bees. Hey, Beerski. I'm sorry if I'm not interacting with chat super duper much. Part of that right now is uh, Pharisees is here to help me with that, but the other part of it is I can't see very well today. Um, my eyes hurt, and uh, that's just gonna be how that is. So it's a little tough for me to see the chat. I apologize. Yeah, so basically what happened is that I stood in direct sunlight with my shirt off. And it's like <laughs> from that. It's like snow blinded Rob and it's really bad. Yeah, I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering. And not from alcoholism. <laughs> not this time. Oh, we don't recover from that, we practice it. That's, they, they, that's not look, a problem, that's a solution. Look. You don't For legal reasons, that is also a joke. Please do not take this as medical advice. Yeah. <laughs> I am not a doctor. Could you fucking tell? God. Yeah. Could you imagine I am, if I was I am a, doctor? Not a doctor? However, if I have my um, way, someday I'll be somebody's therapist, and they're gonna be really, really upset. <laughs> I, I am not a doctor, however, uh, my diagnosis is that you have demons in your blood. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'll be fine, Pierski. That is happening. God, that is that is happening this Saturday, the second. Uh I'll be drinking beer from one Mr. Beerski. Uh provided by, I should say, one Mr. Beerski. I was um, gonna say you're not drinking it off of him, are you? That'd be weird. Not this time. Oh, maybe next time. Yeah, I don't rule anything out. I mean, like, well, hey, look, where's that gonna get me? God. We're, look, we're here to make content, okay? Like, this is what we do. Yeah, this is what we do now. We're here to make content. We're, we are driving, we are making content and driving engagement. Yeah, content. Subscribe to my only digs. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to my only bears. Hail Hydrate! All right. I 
I could have them. I could have only bears. I bet. I bet that would do pretty well. If I could pull it off. We're just gonna keep mapping the like our half of the map right now, taking the uh, locations so that we can kind of get all these heroes from here and transition them downward. Did you just snort spittle? I had a brilliant idea. Oh no. Only bears. Rob's bear naked pic. It's just pictures of bears. <laughs> what if I told you we already had this? I... <laughs> I'm not surprised, if I'm honest. <laughs> You're like, I actually kind of thought it was there, didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> Look, I try not to, like, you know. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> somebody ratchets over here. You know what else makes good content? A bit of side corn. Exactly. That's that's why I have a picture where I'm only covered by side corn. Oh, I mean, dude, <laughs> I, 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 I grilled some side corn the other week, and, like, I was eat. I, like, ooh. Did you have some of that delicious, you. delicious, nutritious side corn? Now with extra goob. Extra goob side corn, eh? Yeah. God, I, I'm, I'm, you, I'm somehow you absorbing your bam. sconiness through the internet. As, yeah, I, you're, as you're, I'm like, you're gonna have hey. To deal with that. It's, it's gonna get worse. It always gets worse before it gets better. Remember that. <laughs> this applies to all parts of your life. Oh, I gotta go to this stable and look over there real quick. Real quick away. What do, you call, what do you call a building where horses fall over? An uh, unstable? Yes. Boo this man. <laughs> Everyone, boo this man. <laughs> I still love you, I'm kidding. Actually, it's called a horse veterinary hospital. <laughs> God damn. You. Gosh. If you if if you ever wonder why Fair Seas is my favorite, reference this video. <laughs> my 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 sweetest and bestest boy. Faces. I'm not a horse whisperer, I'm an equine therapist. <laughs> We're so stupid. <laughs> yes, I am. Late, late night us just derping around so hard. Much derp. Who that? Muted boo boo boo. <laughs> Vets treat horse. You would know, Cookie. God damn it. <laughs> Cookie's here to actually me, uh, which she, she honestly, highly educated, educator, has every right to. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, it's like she's Kind of teacher. her job. But still, just looks at Cookie, shakes head slightly. God damn it. <laughs> Somebody, I was watching Nino Cookie yesterday at the beginning, and at the beginning of this stream, I still had the sound on. So that was, uh, if you weren't here for that cookie, that happened. Cause like, oh, why does Rob have Death Echo? And it's like, well, <laughs> here's the thing. Because God wills it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why. That's the ex that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I'm Rob sticking. has death echo, and shall continue to have deck a death echo until the great priest Cthulhu and his mighty house in the dark city of Relia. <laughs> is it is that how you say it? I never know how to say it. That because that you know it's it's H.P. I mean, Lovecraft, that's so it's how, all that, it's dude, all that's fucked how up. Corin Hardy said it, so I'm just going with that. You know what? Better authority than any of us. So <laughs> yeah. So I'm just, I'm, dude, yeah, Corn with, Hardy pronounced it like it. that, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> yeah, who am I to fucking argue? Like at that point, it would be sacrilegious for me to argue, perhaps. 
I don't know. I think I think Corn Hardy's pretty well adjusted. He might be like, well, you you can disagree if you want, but I do know things. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You do. You do a lot. You may disagree, but it is not wise. <laughs> oh, to the stable with you, Mr. To anybody that does not know who Corin Hardy is, Corin Hardy is a filmmaker uh, who has done very good things. Very good things. Um, I mean, he, he did The Hallow and uh, The Nun. What's The Nun? Uh, that was the one in 2018 with the evil nun. Uh. Oh, that shit was creepy. Oh yeah, no, it was great. No wonder I'm. Well, no wonder I'm like I've heard of Cor and Hardy. I can't quite place it. And it's like because that's some scary shit, and I am over here being a giant vagina. Like. Yeah. No, that man does horror good. He also looks. Horrific? Like, no, no. He looks like a very unassuming person in the film industry, where he kind of just always has this perennially disheveled, like, like thick rimmed glasses appearance. Oh, it's just like, like he's just average Joe, and then it's he, like he kind of just looks like a like a guy who kind of yeah, it looks slightly stressed, like he's been having a really rough day. And I could be, I could be, I could be that, I could be that most, man. <laughs> is arguably one of the most competent horror directors of the past ten years. Huh. Well, I mean, like I said, fair enough. I don't, I don't know, dick from anus when it comes to horror. Um, because I hate it. Because <laughs> I, yeah, am, no. again, Obsidian the, Dragon be got afraid. Him just right. He just looks like a dude. Like you, it is completely unassuming. But the darkness. In his mind. The terror. <laughs> <laughs> the horror. I mean, it's kind of like looking at Trent Reznor now. Like, back when it, he in, like, the not early 90s where he had, like, the ponytail and the leather jacket and, like, looked like... A terrifying you know. person, I guess, is what you sound like you're getting at. No, he didn't look terrifying, but he definitely had that, like, post-punk uh, industrial look. And you're like, oh man, this guy looks like, you know, a real hard-edged dude, and... What a time to be alive, that time. Yeah. And... And now he's he just looks like a guy with, like, a perennial five o'clock shadow. He just <laughs> looks like a dude playing another dude. <laughs> Dressed like another dude. Oh, man. Trent Reznor in 2020 looked like just looked like somebody's dad. Like you would, like he got off work and was there to pick you up dad? from school. I'm not even kidding. Like, dad, that's what he looked like to me. I mean, we had a rowing like, coach. This, we used to sit there is... and do that too. We just like shout at him and be like, "Dad," fucking hated it. Yeah. Yeah. Trent Reznor looks like a guy that would pull up in like an, an Acura to your school and be like, "Have you seen my son?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm He's here to pick to up my here. kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I am him. Little bastard's not here again. <laughs> Which is also hilarious because he he would absolutely do it in a Midwestern accent, considering he's from fucking Ohio. Of course. Hor <laughs> horrible things come from Maine and Ohio. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. So this guy actually maxed his uh uh his experience for this level because he can only get so good before like on this level before uh before the game's just like, you know what? You cannot keep upgrading this hero. <laughs> And that's kind of like a power cap thing. It doesn't want you to just, like, infinitely make turbo good heroes uh, on a level. So it'll stop you at a point. Um, we we also made a very good uh, astronaut buzzkill. What happened? Wisconsin made a good astronaut. Did you? Yeah. 
the guy who helped get Apollo 13 home, Captain James Lovell. We have a street named after him. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I mean, I, and, and several other things. We also have... Uh, Look, like as far as things home. go, getting a street ain't a bad gig. Dude, if you get a street named after you, you at least did something, man. That's better than I've got. You know what I have named after me? A, a, a very specific variety of skin rash. <laughs> uh. Yeah, like. You know what? Me. Never mind. Nope. Nope. Don't. Nope. I'd, I'd nope. rather have the street. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We're, like, absorbing enemy units now. That's cool. It ain't, it ain't even anything gross. It's literally just a unique reaction that I had to being exposed to jet fuel. And they named it after you? And they named it after me. If you... <laughs> it's in a medical journal. <laughs> if anybody can hear... That's the sound of the gears of my brain grinding to a stop. <laughs> this is... And it is only just the most recent time that I've done that to him. I have done this to this man many times. Yeah, I mean, this is not... This is this is a Tuesday, so to speak. Wait, is it... Oh, actually, it might already be Tuesday. Whatever, fuck it. it, 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 it for you, it is. For me, it is getting close. It, uh, it's, it's, it's certainly a day. Um, boy, howdy, do we just have some retarded shit happen sometimes. <sighs> but yeah, so I, I worked at the airport and I used to air, I used to fuel airplanes. And then once upon a time we had a bit of a... <laughs> once upon room. a time the airplane bit back at me. Well, not quite, but rather what was, doing, what was happening is that I was actually assisting somebody with their plane um, and the... Uh, shutoff valves to one of the wing tanks on an MD-10. <laughs> did it not do the thing that it not is paid close. to do? And so it vented fuel out of the wing tips where the fuel tank vents are and it poured over me. That sounds and, not good. Yeah, it was it's, it's, well I mean, nobody wants to be soaked in diesel and that's basically what happens to you. Oh, but don't you love the smell of diesel? Um situational in that case no it's yeah. also raining like not pissing that time. fucking rain you're like at that point no did not like yeah no like it was already a miserable day and then i got coated in jet fuel i'm sorry which the additives that make it jet fuel versus diesel are like anti-gelling stuff and as it turns out uh my skin this really sounds like it. a sur superhero origin did we get a yeah. hail hydrate from obsidian that that was missed? I'm sorry, hail hydrate. Like yeah, I said, uh, I can't see for dick right now. It's um rather than like you know my skin getting like red spots and itchy hives like most petrochemical exposure. Yeah. Uh, it just kind of like peeled off in sheets. Uh, like it, it cracked and peeled off and sheets. Uh, you can stop anytime now. Ew. You nasty. That's a gross. Also, I'm squeamish, so you know. Yeah, you are. I'm a squeamy little bab. But yeah, so I continued working that job for a while after that. <laughs> I know well, that I sounds mean, like a good reason you, to leave in that industry. You However, couldn't, I you couldn't give up. That job. You couldn't give up the fame that you had at that point. I mean, oh, dude, but like the fame, not even the fame. I loved that. That is still to date the favorite job I've ever had. Really, I loved that job. Oh my god, dude! Why? It's, it's so I'm curious. Fun. I must. I must know. Uh, because it's not hard. You're outside out all day, and you get to. Um, I mean, you get to send people on their way, and if anybody screws with you, you actually have a lot of authority as a fueler, um, because you and a pilot 
are like the two most important things. And if there is something you don't like about that plane where you do not feel that it is safe to fuel it, you can just say this plane isn't going anywhere. And then maintenance and has to have come to, and fix They just have you to like. listen to you. Basically, yeah. Because like the FAA is all about that. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Oh yeah, no, Skydrawl, yeah, dude, Skydrawl and uh Um The Hell is the Mobile Mobile Jet. Is it just called Mobile Jet, I think? Buddy, if you're asking uh, yeah, me, Jet, it is the wrong Mobile person. Jet too. Um, yeah, will uh, irritate your skin, like, immediately on contact. Fucking yikes. Yeah, it's it's super not good for you. Mobile Jet 2 also, like, is basically fancy two-cycle oil. <laughs> you are... <clears throat> Excuse me, well, for starters, you're using fancy words, and I don't understand them with you and your fancy talk. But... Yeah. Basically, jet engine oil supply, not like usual car oil supply. It just burns it. <laughs> usual car oil, though. Burn. No, usual car oil, if car operating properly, not burn so much. I mean, you, there will be some left to drain out when you do oil change. Unless it was my old F1 Fix Me, which I missed the truck. So F1 Fix Me. <laughs> That's what it that, that's what it was called, because any time you went to start it, you needed to fix something to get it to start. Good God, I love that. I mean, I it get wouldn't. it, too. Like, I, I used to be the one of the corrosion engineers for the F1 series. Uh, for a little while, at least. Like, the mid-2000s. The mid-2000s. Um, I, that wasn't a bad gig. It, it, you know what I need... And what? I need it desperately. I need Ford to get off their shit and bring back an inline six truck engine, please. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many engines you're gonna see for a while. Uh, given that uh, given that nobody nobody's wanting uh, gas engines at the moment to be their no. primary source of development or investment. I gave a very unpopular dissertation on this recently. Oh. Um, and Please yeah. unload unload this unpopularity upon our unsuspecting listeners. Well, as an electrician, I also have a perspective on how um, electrical infrastructure is in our country. Poor. And I also am somewhat college educated and, and, and at least enough to understand what energy densities are. How dare you and, be so smart. <laughs> and unfortunately, battery technology is, I'm sorry, really not there to make uh, it work for most applications still. Um, yeah, that I mean, need... that, that, like, I've told you before, that was my bread and butter now, for reduction, quite a while. Reduction of, of, of petroleum burning, good thing, good idea. I drive a hybrid myself. I didn't, and everybody's like, did you buy a hybrid explicitly? I'm like, no, actually, I, I got that thing on a deal, though, and just the, the fact that it gets 45 or better to the gallon is just bonus points. I oh paid $6,000 for that car. literally wet with envy. I, I paid $6,000 for that car. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Because I bought it in April of 2020 when every car dealership in the world at the moment was, was just like, dying. Any, anything, anything to make a sale. They're like, we won't let it go for under... 7400 No, I was like, I will give you $6,000 and I will finance with your financer if you let me do it. And they're like, we can't let it go for that low. And then so I was like, all right. Okay, bye. bye. And they're like, no and way. I out, Please. Got to my car, got it started. And they're, the guy's literally tapping on the window. He's like, the, the sales manager just really just wants to close this. We'll do it. <laughs> they're like, please remove this from our site and our lot. <laughs> Yeah, just look anything at this point. We want we want to make a number. 
Yeah. Number needed, otherwise doors close. <laughs> Scree. <laughs> well, and that's another thing, Cake Boss. Again, uh, electrician, electric grid knowledge. Uh, nuclear waste is fantastically useful because you can take waste from most of our fission reactors in this country and you can make reactors that run on it. I didn't They're, know that. Like, the whole, in fact, that was the whole intention. First generation reactors in this country were sp set up to make fuel to feed second generation reactors and my dog is crying in the background because he's a sassy boy. You're about to see like seven pet commands. <sighs> yeah, so they were supposed to be breeders and the f waste product from them was supposed to feed second generation reactors. But then all of the electrical utilities were like, we don't want to spend the money to build a second one. We'll just throw this in a concrete casket and bury it in the Nevada desert. <laughs> Literally a, a cask, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Pet. Pet, Come pet, here. dog. Come here. Come His here. name is Tundra, and he's a beautiful boy. Yeah, but he doesn't want the attention that enough, bad enough to get up. He's just gonna cry until I go to him. So now I have to go to him to meet the demand of the pet command. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know how I got all yes. these units. Okay. I don't remember putting these here. Big scritches. Pets are happening. I hope you're all pleased. Hope you're all happy with yourselves. Duh. Teasing. Partially. So very pleased. Good. A happy audience is a pleased audience. I'm pretty sure that that rock mine might be the only thing I have left to flag on this map. It is in fact a husky. If you think it's too quiet, it's just because he's not... For, he's, I, I'm stopping him before he gets too loud. Oh, Tundra Talks. Oh, yes, he does. Tundra, he is... Tundra S. Lachati. <laughs> he is up in the... No, here we go. He got up and he's standing right next to me. Oh, boy. What? What? <laughs> Father, what, what is this what nonsense that you partake of? <laughs> what? Oh, no. There's more chocolate. Pet! Pet that puppy. Pet that puppy twice. consumes his words. <laughs> so many pets. So many pets, yes. Yes, I know. <laughs> Excuse me. They can't see you. They can't see you, so you bringing them your bone, it doesn't really matter if they can't see you You're trying to share your bone. No. It's it's appreciated, though. He, he, he brings toys to people. Because his <laughs> Where are the people, to... Father? Yeah. Well, he he's he, he's smart enough to recognize that I'm talking to somebody. Tell me where these people are. I must I must play with them. I'm actually gonna send this guy down the whirlpool after I uh, give him a bunch of stuff just but to see why? if there's anything over there. Yes. Attack the fly hive. Now this character should have super haste now, which is great. Yeah, there it is. I, I am being told to go to bed. That Are you? Happens tomorrow. Yeah, actually. He's it may be that I have to go to work tomorrow. You may. He's right. You may have to do as he says. Yeah, I, I, I might because it is it is getting quite. It is it is half past late. I do have work tomorrow. Half past one later for you. Yeah. Well, I will. I will continue to ride solo with the lovely, the lovely chat. Yes. Okay, we're going to bed. We're going to do that. Everybody, wave at fair season. Say bye bye. Tundra, can you say goodbye? Can Dude, goodbye? Obsidian, I feel that so much. My my college roommate. Uh. Jenna, she a just beautiful, so beautiful, but also had a pit bull, 
Um, and it was the best pit bull ever. Uh, Ladies and, and gentlemen of the stream, good night. Good night, fair seas. Farewell. Farewell to from fair seas. And tundra. And tundra. But um, I had this amazing pit bull that was so lovey and affectionate. And it was like a Pitbull Black Lab mix, so it wasn't like all pit, but it was like, he was a very strong boy. And he had that, that cute square head and everything. Ah, oh, such a good dog. Like I said, she was not bad to look at either. Um, yeah, those were good times. I miss having a dog in the house. I won't have one. I, w I will not have one here. Nor, not now, not ever. Maybe in the future I will acquire a, a, a dog, but currently not in my cards. Also, now that I don't have anybody to peruse chat, it, it is it is going to be difficult for me to see. What's my favorite skill, Rockbeards? Um, I'll try to look over. I Beerski, I would I would only adopt. I I only do rescues for my pets. That is not the that is not the issue. Um favorite skill in this game might be expert air magic because you get mass haste uh like that mixture alone is just nuts like that is one of the best things you can do with the game sick we just got two hero heroes to max level as well um i mean that's one of the better ones i really like expert archery just because i love using my shooting units um, and I'm looking at these just so I can, like, reference things. Tactics is obviously a good skill, but I won't ever say it's my favorite. Um, this character is honestly going to be just, like, broken. Wisdom, expert air magic. Ex so we basically get loads of spell points, all the access to spells, max levels of the most effective spells, arguably, and spell buffing. So, yeah, this, this shit's ridiculous. Um, already, but archery is great. Um, if you can mix basic path or pathfinding and logistics, it's fucking amazing. Um, Stig is honestly off to a great start, just having sorcery, wisdom, and air magic. Um, yeah, like I said, it wouldn't be anything here. It'd still be in this archery. Like, increases damage done by range attack creatures by 50%. Oh, fuck. Like, oof. It's swoon. That's what I'm saying right there. Fucking swoon. Cause that's some that's a lot of dam that's a lot of damage. I just I play my strategies very well around uh basically turn control. Like like controlling the battlefield with, with turns and like when when the enemy can and can't engage me. And ranged units. Like, those are my... That's my bread and butter, more or less. Um, we'll just send him back up there for something to do with him. Because, like I said, I think that this... Mine here will be the final. I just want to... I'm going to send this guy north to find out. He's going to get in this ship, and then he's going to lose, like, half his fucking army. Watch the numbers from here. Uh, to once he goes through the whirlpool. If you ever want to discover why you just don't use whirlpool, like period, unless you have to, it will tell you why. You will see why momentarily. Let's see here. Which in a way will take two turns right now because we'll go this way. Send this person back over. Korbak, who saved Zintha. Yeah, some? Half! <laughs> like, fuck. Sea map. Alright, there was nothing really here. Um, which means it's time to win. It is time to win! Ta da! Congratulations, you did the thing. Victory is yours. Save. Now, Gold Rush. In times of strife, your mercenary ways will earn you great rewards. So this time we play as the mercenaries on the opposite side of the border. We play as these assholes, the barbarians. 
You must accumulate 200,000 gold. Your heroes will be limited to 12th level in this scenario, but your 8th strongest will be available to you in the final scenario of this campaign. Now, if I remember correctly, you pick whether you want to play Swamp People or Barbarians in the last part of this uh, campaign. And if you don't treat these guys, if you don't treat the Barbarians very well, <laughs> they're a lot easier to beat. So we're going to bank on that. Because I don't remember. White race. <laughs> Shut up, Cake Boss. Let's see here. Oh, Cake, I'm sorry. Rock, rock beards. I hope that answered the question well, though. Two Cyclops, the Kings. That's going to be the... I like having my archers, even though these thunder... Mm, this is a really good way to take out archer units, because they're so fast. We're just going to do it. Your abilities have been brought to the attention of the barbarian nation of Krulat. Their skirmishes with the Arathian military on their eastern border are legendary. Many credit them for hardening Arathian soldiers. Recently, a border raid resulted in victory and, uncharacteristically, a large number of prisoners. Upon interrogation, their suspicions were confirmed. Without King Griffinheart, Arathia has lost its soul. Your goal is to quickly plunder the Arathian man within Kulad's immediate reach. Once they have the resources they need, war will be discussed. Until then, your independent participation is needed. Should you be captured, Kulad will claim you were an overzealous clan leader acting outside the interests of the nation. We are now a deniable barbarian asset after basically the king died and now everything's like, oh, the king is dead. The people don't want to fight anymore. So anyway, long have we skirmished with the Arathian military on our eastern border. Many credit us for hardening their soldiers and the strong fighters they have become. A recent border raid resulted in victory, but it also resulted in an uncharacteristically large number of prisoners. Usually they just kill everybody, I guess. Our interrogations of these prisoners confirmed our suspicions. Without their king, Aravia has no heart. So so the thing that happens, like, before this game begins is that King Griffin Hart fucking dies, who is the king of Aravia, and, like... The lady in the opening cutscene that was that was like her dad before you know he's fucking dead. Oopsie. Uh -huh. um, our goal is not to start a war, but to quickly plunder their land that is easily within our reach. Once we have the resources we need, war can be discussed. So they're just like, hey, let's just like give them a good kick in the nuts and then get the fuck out of here. Until then, we require your independent participation to raid the Arathian territories to our immediately east. Should you be captured, we will claim that you don't exist. Blah, blah, blah. Work for the money. Work hard for the money. The Duke of Krulod. So Krulod doesn't have a king, it has a duke. And it's like, it's just stupid. Don't worry about it. Get going and good luck. So we've got this guy. This is our guy with our, like, you know... Th th this is the guy we got with the, the Thunderbirds. Who I, fucking... I love these. I love their design. They're so cool. Um, and they're fast. So we have a Battle Mage with a Precision Specialty, which is just a weird one. Zoom in. Like, the Precision's not a bad spell, but you could be usually spending so much better spells. Um... The nice thing is that if you get expert air magic and then expert haste, then you can also cast expert precision. Zubin was once chief of a tribe which fought against Duke Boragus. That's the duke we just mentioned. When peace was finally attained, he was offered his own command within the armies of Krulod. So he was the chief of a tribe that used to beat up on the fucking leader of the nation, and he was like, hey, how about you want to be a general? You, you didn't suck. And then we have Shiva... Uh, increases the attack and defense of any rocks or thunderbirds for each level attained after the fifth. So basically, at once you get past level five, those rocks and thunderbirds, those birds we saw, will get extra attack and defense. So we'll probably make her our main. She's a barbarian instead of a battle mage, so they always start with offense and scouting. And what's her star story? Shiva is the youngest of six daughters in a family of circus animal trainers. Wow, we're already in the south. Unhappy with the prospect of spending her life, entire life in the family business, she left the circus to join the Krulod military as a mercenary, a business that she has excelled at. 
ridiculous. <laughs> Just fucking stupid. <laughs> God. Uh, so silly. Excuse me. You're gonna get some of those. It's late. I'm still not. I'm not. I am not like time to shut down. But you know, it is late. You'll have to forgive me. Oh, we can get Jabarkas. We can get Jabarkas. Come here, Jabarkas. Give me some of these units, Jabarkas. So Barbarians actually do have two range units, the Orc and the Cyclops. The Orc is slow as fucking balls, but has pretty good attack for a tier 3 unit. The Cyclops is okay. None of their range shit's great. It's just average. It's very mediocre, in my opinion. Again, this is the opinion of me. Me opinion is miss... You know, like, don't worry about it. <sighs> Fuck. So we'll let Jabargus out so he can start looking around for us. This is a very like classic start to a map. You you get a spare character, you start looking around, you see what's nearby. Um we'll go see what this skill is. Learning. Eh. Not a good skill to get, because usually you're gonna max out your fucking XP every time, naturally anyway. Uh, she was actually gonna have to go inside, because we don't have anybody to spoon feed her units. Um, because I don't wanna hire an off character. You know, and these are both just I can recognize by the pattern. Um I don't even have to look that I know they're not the right uh, racial modifiers. And we have like a little war camp down here where we can just like walk in and be like, hey, who wants to fight? Which is always nice, obviously. Um, so we're just gonna send her, we're gonna send her around this way to just get turbo boosted on stuff. Basic air magic. That's the one that you'll see me take nearly every time. Um, and we are going to try very hard. The next thing you want to get, what I always do is I try to maximize first any units I'm going to need, then I try to get it so that I have characters who never have to come back. I know that's like probably weird. It's like, what do you mean? And it's like, well, I don't want them to have to go back to the point that they're at. Um, I don't want them to have to go back to town to level up or to get things. Um, so I try to get, before I move too far along, I try to get the Tower of Valhalla, things like that, simply so that your units can begin to level and, and get stuff. Um, the Mage Guild level 1 here, the Mage Guild level 1 here, because then everybody gets a spell book who comes in, and everybody who comes in also is going to get their main um, their main skill their attack buffed we'll just do advanced artillery with him because eventually we'll get an artillery thing send him out around here we'll let him get basic artillery and advanced artillery Pathfinding, huge skill if you're playing in these rocky biomes. I think we get the Centaur's Axe and the Centaur's Helmet here. This is a very easy level. Helmet of the Owl Bass for Unicorn and then a Centaur's Axe. In my opinion. Again, my opinion. Uh, turbo easy level. Like, just, just stupid easy. Um... I also find playing the Barbarians to be generally not that hard. Uh, maybe that's just me? I don't know. Blade Wiggins, welcome to the chat. 
Yeah, Star Scab, that's that's exactly what it is. Um Maximize Mook usage, pretty much. Did I already visit this? Yeah, I did. Oops. Yeah, we'll just get loads of units from right there. Eventually, we'll have an entire character who, whose in, like entire existence is just going back and forth to that spot. In fact, we'll just we'll get him in here right now so that he can get that, and we'll send him around. We're basically gonna loop him back down here around, have him hit that, take this stuff and transfer it to Shiva, while uh, Nutsack over there goes to see what I need: Goblin Barracks and Blacksmith. So the blacksmith for these guys is uh, just an ammo cart, which is almost universally useless. But then once you get that, you can get the ballista yard, uh, because they're the only group I think that can have one of each, like one, two of the three, I should say, uh, types. Oh, she can just go down there now. Two of the three types of war machines is what it's called. Um, we are not going to spend the 10 wood that I am aware that's going to take yet. Um, we'll have him do a little bit more looking around. There's that. Mm, that looks like archers over in the corner. So the next thing we want to definitely build the mess hall. So we get extra gabos. Uh, did we already have a mess hall here? I guess so. Um, we don't need any of that. We're just going to go over here and be like, all right, Citadel time. We want to have at least Citadels and Mess Halls uh, before the first week is out. That's just kind of an important one, in my, in my opinion. Um, there's a scroll we can use with our whole entire lack of spell book. Um, okay. Hey, that's nice. Get another one of these. Get a nice big uh, group of that. Oh. Did I already visit? Yeah, I did. The memory, it fades. So we keep going around. I have no idea. Ammo cart makes it. Uh, no, they don't have unlimited ammo. Every range unit, and I, I will show you, has a shots stat. Shots, 12. I can't do it with the Cyclops, but trust me, they all have shots. Um, and a limited number of them, in, in fact. Uh, does that mean that you've ever seen yourself hit that limit? No. <laughs> in fact, it does not, and you won't be surprised to know that. One of the funniest things about this map in particular as well is you can absolutely be fucking losing in every way, shape, and form and still win as long as you get enough money. Also, I don't want these guys. I want to eat them. I like all the music effects. Old bad name. I do. <sighs> Slaps them with throwing axes. God, I just fucking love it. I love it because I think it's hilarious. Now these guys, they have these guys have so much health, 60 health, that honestly I don't know that they'll even be. Yeah, 14 damage when there was like half of them. That's literally not gonna matter. They're gonna go down here and try to help, and now they're not. <laughs> they they helped by dying. We got a nice little spyglass. It's cute. I don't remember how bad the crypt is. I will very willingly save scum this if this sucks. Eh. Doesn't totally suck. He's gonna come around and attack something and fail at it, so that's good. 
and get these guys to run out and do some more blowing up of this stuff. Ah! Yeah, I forgot they could cast Thunderbolt just with their mouth. Fun part. Very fun part. Which is why I took them, because they move fast and they go at the top of the turn. And ha! Money. Yar bark bark. So now he can loop around. Basically, she's gonna like follow him in that loop very closely, actually. Which we'll hit him with first. So that's learn learning. Uh, Star Scab, that would have been a good mechanic. I can I can definitely agree with that. Uh, did it did it come to anything, any fruition? Unfortunately, no. Uh, would it have been vastly interesting for them to do? Hell yeah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. We'll just get Ballista Yards in both of these. So that we can resupply those when needed. And also because my OCD demands it. I'm being perfectly honest. We have a ruined area up here where you can't cast any spells in that zone. Um, which can make things a little tough sometimes. There's a lot of archers, so we're not going to like slam on them yet. Because it's probably going to end up getting us kicked in the shin. Instead, we'll send Yarbark around. We'll spend the money on both of those. We'll spend the money on the spell book. Not a great series of spells there, but we do have two, as we had seen earlier. Um, so we'll get a second chance there as well. Let's hit this first. Go around Town Hall, get that economy growing a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Marketplace. I'm still not too worried about having upgraded troops or anything. Like, I'm pretty... Pretty pumped up on just regular shit right now. Uh, have him just get a load of you, Like, a literal huge group of units. This is a lot of dwellings. Like as far as as far as creature dwellings go and as far as like raising a group, this is that's a big jump in like small early game scouting stuff. Eventually the number of units available there will not matter, but currently it does. Yeah, it's a good suggestion 25 years too late. I, exactly. Would it would I have loved to have seen it? Fuck yeah. It, Unfortunately, <laughs> we're a bit outside the purview. Alright, money is starting to run tight in this kingdom here. Which is unfortunate because that means that we're going to have to take a turn to not buy anything. Which, you know, sadness. Hydrate. Thank you, Night Owl. Ain't a lot left in there either. But it will. You can't afford a boat. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks, game. <laughs> You're broke as shit. Go up there with that. Get some of them. We'll get some of these. Night Owl, look at you out here giving that sub to the art of stuttering. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel, and welcome to the group, Mr. Stutter. Oops, wrong button. There, now we can hit the Wolf Riders. We can hit 
this. We've pretty much blown through the original gold reserve, which, yes, does kind of suck a little bit, but eh, whatever. Basic wisdom, huge skill to get if you have barbarians, and it's like, do not squander, basically. Like, take it when you can get it. You don't always know when you're going to get a chance again. Our guys are on top of each other, which is not ideal. Not necessarily the order or situation I wanted them in, but... Oh, well. Oh, we actually have to... Boy, howdy, it would be good to send him to the place where we wanted to send them all. Let's see here, and then she can do hers. Because now they're all going to have to go into that, this castle as well. Um, and before we do that, we will actually put in some upgrade points here. Because the gobos are way more useful once they become hobgobos. Like this, huge upgrade. What does this one take again? Oh, more wood that I don't have. Okay, cool. Now we can swap her out. Have him do this. Take that. Give her all the goods. Have him go there. And then he's going to come back into here. Get his points and everything. There we go. So he is in full scout mode, basically. And that's what he's going to continue to do. Like, if I can get a ship, he's going to go on the ship. He's, he is going to be that guy for us. Uh, he might need to come down here yet. Yeah, it's... Well, shit. I should actually send him this way. Didn't even realize there was a second sawmill up here. That was silly me. So kind of explored a little bit out of place there, but oh well. Yeah, Ben, it's gonna be false. It's gonna be uh, America birthday bash super celebration huzzah time. As usual. Hopefully everybody's got some nice plans for that. And, you know, it's going to be responsible. I, I won't be. I, I have no nice plans and it's probably going to suck, but whatever. Welcome to my world. I want to pull this guy's units together. Let's see here. So he's still got to hit that arena. Knowledge. Knowledge for barbarians. Always a rough one to get. Because if you do get them using something, it is... It is not likely that they are going to be able to use spells for long. Which is, you know, unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, basic air magic, yes. Don't need to tell you guys how much I love that again. Oh, ogres, those are nice. I kind of always opt for defense with those buildings. Um, I just think it's the superior skill. That may have be foolish. That may have not be foolish, I don't know. All I know is that I have huge amounts of units just sitting around in these places to be recruited once I get the money. 
Yeah, sure, I'll I'll take your units. Cool. What does this do? Yeah, no. No thank you. We'll keep that put away. I happen to like luck bonuses, sir. I will transfer him, and I'll actually, I'll just stick this over here, too. He doesn't, doesn't need to look at it if it's there. Um, so that's the full area. And we'll give him a little buffer, you know, too. Let's see here. I gotta go and keep moving. Yeah, we got all that. Then we want to make sure that we can upgrade this guy fully once he comes around here. Yeah, we'll do that. Need a bunch of wood to build the ogre structures, which is unfortunate, but understandable. Give them them beans. All these orcs come in quite large quantities too. Basically these things are like fast. You can bum rush with, you can bum rush to melee with these kind of units really well. It's kind of their job. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll just get the cliff nest. Again, we'll like we'll pay for that little buff uh, because why not kind of let's see here let's have him wait there Now we should be able to kind of look in here and be like, hmm, what can we get? Oh, more flyboys. All right. All right, all right, all right. Can I actually get more of these two? No. Not in a full denomination, which means I won't bother. However, this is one hell of an army with ten of these, and hopefully enough to go and slap the shit out of these guys. Because I really need their money. I really need their money, yo. Which, you know, is kind of the name of the game when it comes to uh, these guys, so. The orcs and, like, the large amounts of, uh, large amounts of unit spawns. And also just this map, really. It's like, hey, what's up with this map? And it's like, well, it's filled with gold. And it's like, why is it filled with gold? And it's like, because that's the objective. Take gold. Uh, Okay. I was not expecting them to just be like, hey, can we join you? This this gig's uh, in front of this mine. This shit sucks. Alrighty then. Let's see here. Night Owl, look at you. Gifting out a little bit more to NDLV11. Thank you so much. And welcome, NDLV. Oh, Cliff of Gallantry is a nice little pickup because it's usually cheap or easy to get. And it's just a great, just a great, great little grab. Come, pick it up. This guy's literally going to be halfway to his own fucking human army a minute here. Yeah, that's all fine. We just need wood. We need wood to be able to recruit the units that we need. 
Plus three is better than plus two. Change my mind. Please don't. Please, please don't attempt to do that. That would be so dumb. Oh wow, they didn't even make it over here yet. Okay. Except for they have a lot of that shit. So that's not great. Hmm. I'd really like to get the ogres, but I have to save so much wood. you Mr. Barkass. Just look over here, kind of be like, oh well. It's not a lot of things you've brought. It's tempting because they only have the several the several I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do it. Cause they don't have an the the thing about this is they don't have a castle archer yet. And that's a pretty big deal. Hobgoblins die quickly and easily. That's going to be one of our big drawbacks right now. God, they just fucking wait. Yeah, they just wail on them. These stacks just drop like rocks. Which kind of is what it is. But boy, how do you don't feel great? Lost like a hundred gabos. This one exchange. Oh, she'll sub or die. <laughs> I don't know if that's the thing we want to put out there. But I'm also not about to argue with it. Basic wisdom, that's a great one as we established. With haste. Oh, there we go. Oh, no wonder they didn't have a lot of shit going on here. circle around and get that ring that I missed the first time. Uh oh. Ta-da. I, don't remember, I never remember what this one was. Attack and defense. That's the attack and defend ring. Um, plus one to any two skills is a pretty nice deal. Like, it's kind of a big deal. But, but it actually is. See, so now, nice part. It's like, wait a minute. Didn't you just lose an army? And it's like, well, yeah, but here's another one. Have at him. And we'll just keep going. Sure didn't defend that witch very well. <laughs> Let's see what this thing can get. Griffin Bastion is nice. It's just like a nice, easy pick. Uh, Cause more griffins. Like, da doy. <sighs> Jerk bark over here. Oop.
Let's see here. I should have these ready for upgrade just in case. <laughs> nope, not enough wood in this case for anything special. We're just gonna, like, if these guys are gonna just be like, hey, can we join you? Our life sucks right now. We're just gonna keep taking them. Be like, uh, alright. Alright. Let's see here. Can she come in here? And fuck around? Or are we gonna find out? Okay, pack four. Okay, yeah, we can do this quite thoroughly. In fact, <sighs> excuse me, my oh my. This should kill it in two strikes. Close. over here just to hand me those things. How kind of him. So these are uh, hill forts and hill forts unlike in the previous game where they un upgraded like a certain small core group of units. They will let you upgrade anything and all your tier 1 upgrades are then free. With that, because I see that this this battle is going to happen, I don't want to quit without saving. I didn't make it much farther, unfortunately, um, than Pharisees did. But uh, I'm getting I'm getting sleepy. I am getting I'm getting the sleep sleep. Uh, so let me quit this right now. But I hope you guys enjoy some like late night heroes content. Um, I had fun. I hope you had fun. You know, we don't often get to spend some of these wee hours together. But, uh, it was nice. It's I like coming back to this. I like bringing this one to you guys. Heroes is always going to be one of my favorites, and it's going to be one that I'm always trying to bring out here. Um, so yeah, just keep your eyes out for more of this. I'll be in and out. I'll be around. I'll be doing stuff. So, everybody, have a good evening, good morning, good night, whatever it may be. I'll see you all later.